So we're here, we've got an Energy Logic EL200H. And we had a bad preheater. The bottom heater element on the preheater had gone bad. It blew the fuse on the side. And now we are replacing it with this updated model of the preheater assembly that actually is gonna be better because you can replace different components that go bad and it'll be much easier to clean. So we're gonna show you how to mount this and get it all set up as we put it on. So here's what it comes with. It comes with the preheater. We've got our ball valve, 3 8 flare on the side. That's where it's gonna come out. Go to the burner. Now we've got our whip. We've got our bolt and washer, nozzle line, and then four, four self-tapping screws. First thing to do is to slide the preheater out of the cover. And we're gonna mount the box. Two screws on the bottom, right there on the back, two on the top. So we're gonna take the old one off. You gotta do three things. You take this flare off at the bottom, make sure your ball valve's closed. Take this bolt off to release it, and then you have your high pressure line on top. The new preheater comes with a pressure line, so we're gonna remove the pressure line and take it with the old one. And we already turned the power off to the unit right there. And now we're gonna mount the box. On the bottom here, these lips go on the outside, not the inside of the burner when you're mounting them. Tighten this down. There you go. I'll have our pressure line go here. We have the same plug as before. And we'll pick up our feed. If you're doing this yourself, your line might not be flexible enough. You might have to repipe it or change it, but this one, as you can see, moved over just fine, no issues. And if you're wondering where this goes, brace yourselves. Wow. Pretty easy. Yeah, ratchet it, bro. 
please let us know that we should have a record. So we're bleeding in here. We took off the high pressure line up here and we jumped F to F to itself on the primary so that it'll keep running even though there's no flame. And this will probably take a while, so we're not gonna show it, but we'll be back when we have oil at this line. So we're here, it's kinda hard to see, but we have oil coming in. Six feet pump, so it's not high volume, but 